Hello, hello everybody. It's Shani here from Girlfriend's Guide to Network Marketing. Happy Thursday. Welcome to today's video. So I want to talk to you guys today about overwhelm and how to, overco how, or how to overcome it or conquer it because I had that this morning. Uh, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. I had everything swirling around in my head and it started making me feel really like, ah, so I wanted to come on here today to talk to you guys about how I conquer it when I start getting the crazies, when I'm like overwhelmed with too many things to do. And, and this is, I know when I'm feeling this way, welcome everybody, if you're just joining me, hello, let me know you're here, I see lots of hearts, yay! Um, I love the hearts and the thumbs up, it makes me feel good that you guys are getting something out of what I'm saying here. So today we're gonna talk about overwhelm and how to conquer this. I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to get organized when you're feeling that. And I know myself, I've gotten out of my habit of organizing myself when I start to feel this way because when I get overwhelmed, and I get too many things to do and it's all sitting in my head, I freeze and do nothing. Does that sound familiar to anybody? <laughs> Does anybody else have the same thing? I, I get so overwhelmed sometimes I just kinda go, oh, I don't know what to do, and then I end up finding myself scrolling on Facebook because I'm frozen and I don't like that. So I know that I've gotten myself out of my habit of being organized when I get there. So if that sounds familiar to you, I wanna hear from you guys. Um, so here's what I do. When I feel that way, I need to recenter myself. I need to, one, slow it down, right? Slow down the brain. And the best way I feel for me to do that is to brain dump. Um, so I just grab, I have so many notebooks in my office. I go through notebooks like, I, like they're candy, I swear. Um, I grab a notebook, my whatever notebook I have on the go, and I first will do just a brain dump of everything that I have going on in here. So whether it be work-related, even if it's just life-related, kid-related, I make a giant list of everything that's swirling around in my brain. And even just doing that one piece alone, I instantly start to feel better. Because once it's out of my head and on the paper, I know it's somewhere where I can track it. And when you when you have it just rolling around in your head, you can easily lose track of things. So when it's on paper, I know I've made note of it and I know that I've got it there and I'm going to be able to accomplish that. And, I don't, and it, it comes out of here and it leaves this more open for, for thoughts and ideas and things like that. So first of all, take everything out and put it on a piece of paper. Number two is what you need to do is prioritize and execute that list. So going through that list, what are the top three, five things that you need to do? You know, whether it be, you know, income producing activity, what are the top, you know, three things for your business on that list that you need to do first? Um, what are the things that you need to do for your family? What are the things that you need to do for yourself too? Don't forget you, right? Um, so then I prioritize and I'll execute that. So prioritizing, you could, you could use highlighters, colors to prioritize, you know, things that are underlined in red are absolutely number one. Or you can take that list and remake a new list and put it in priority order. Um, so prioritizing and executing the list. Now, um, when you prioritize your list, um, you know, making sure that you've got the things that you need to do first, second, third, don't worry about finishing that entire list in a day. Some of those things are not going to get done, so don't let that overwhelm you in looking at that list going, I don't know how I'm gonna get this done or I didn't get this all done. The top three or four things that are on the list, that's your priority and everything else can get moved to the next day. So that is number two, is prioritize and execute your list. Number three is chunking your time in the day, week, month. When are you going to get these things completed? So if you work full time and you're doing your business and you know in the evening from seven to eight is the only time you have to do the things that are on the top of your list, then you need to prioritize, chunk that time out turn off all distractions, including Facebook, your phone, um, you know, any dings, pings, rings that could happen during that hour. It's all gotta be shut off so that you can focus on what it is you need to do. Um, so whatever that is, Amy, prioritize and execute. Isn't that awesome? It's, it's something that you guys all have to do. Sorry. Um, so blocking that time, chunking that time. If you're at home and you've got a family and that's your time to work your business, you gotta let them know, listen, I need this hour to go to my office and do these things and then I'm all yours after, but during this time, don't bug me. Don't knock on my door. Don't come asking me for cookies. Don't come asking me where the keys are. I'm not available, okay? This is my time. <laughs> so make that very clear. Um, that that is your time to get your stuff done. So blocking that time. And number four, the last thing, is going to be re repeating the process at the end of the day or at the end of your time 
to go back through your list, cross off the things that you got done, remake your new list, prioritize and execute the new list, then block the time for the next day that you're gonna get that done and repeat that process. And you guys, I know when I haven't been doing that because of the way that I'm feeling and the way that I'm scattered and I, and I don't know what I've got going on and even just slowing down and taking the time to do that first step, which is the brain dump, it instantly makes me start to feel better. I start to feel less overwhelmed. I start to feel more in control of what it is that I have to do and less out of control of what it is I've got going on. Does that make sense to everybody? Is that, are you guys resonating with this information? Are you ready to make a brain dump list, block your time, prioritize and execute, all that good stuff? Um, I wanna hear from you. And here's the other cool thing. This whole conversation came from another conversation about day planners. So what I did in my free girlfriends guide group, if you're not in the free girlfriends guide group, the like a boss group, um, I posted in there today about day planners. I'm like, what is everybody using to organize your time, organizing your day? And we have created, we're creating a nice list of all the awesome day planners that people are using so that, because mama needs a new day planner, I want something new for 2018 and I wanna make sure I get the best one possible. So we're all posting in that free group uh, about what day planners everybody's using and, and links if possible to, to get it. So if you're not in that free group, I will post a link in the comments as soon as I am done here. Make sure you add yourself. I think it's also in one of my menus on the side of this page, um, my linked groups, but I will post it so you can jump in there and check out what everybody's using for day planners. What are you guys using for day planners? You can even post it here if you want to. Um, but yeah, so that's my message today, guys. If you're feeling overwhelmed and you're feeling like you've got too much to do, it's time to do a brain dump list. Prioritize and execute on that list, your top three things. Um, block the time to get that stuff done and then repeat the process for the next day. So making that a, a habit, you, we create a habit out of that. So that's my message for today, guys. I hope that you found that helpful. Thank you everybody for joining me. Amy, Karen, Deb, Susie, Melissa, Blake, Lauren, Tina, Jennifer, so many more of you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. Cheers to the upcoming weekend. Uh, I love you all. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon, everybody. Bye for now.